New sales tax, that's what some are saying, is the best way to solve Cincinnati Metro's financial troubles. But can they convince Hamilton County voters it's the right answer? Time and again, voters in Hamilton County have rejected using a sales tax to pay for public transit. But Metro faces a $60 million budget deficit over the next decade. That has some leaders like Pete Metz with the Cincinnati Chamber of Commerce thinking that to save Metro, they'll have to save our aging roads and bridges too. You can't silo transportation. Buses run on roads just as much as cars do. And so having an efficient and effective transportation system, whether that's because you're on a bus, you're behind the wheel of a car, or moving in any other way, we know we have to have a system that's comprehensive and that meets the needs of the community. Joining us now to talk more about the details of this plan is WCPO transportation reporter Pat LaFleur. Pat, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, so what are the details? You know, people watching at home are going to want to know What's it to me? What's it going to mean to me? Sure. So what it would mean for anyone making a purchase in Hamilton County is that the sales tax rate would likely go from around 7% to maybe up to 8% at the most. So what uh, advocates here are pushing for is a 0.9% or a 1% increase to the sales tax in Hamilton County. That would most likely be accompanied by a 0.3% reduction in the city's earnings tax. That's where most of Metro's funding comes from right now is the city's income tax. So one would replace the other. It would come in the form of a sales tax instead of someone's income tax. Got it. Okay, so why take bridges and roads and buses and lump them all together? Right, so one of the biggest struggles that any, any group mm -hmm. trying to advocate for a sales tax toward transit has faced over the last several decades is that they cannot seem to appeal to people who don't use the bus on a regular basis. And those are typically people who live uh, in the suburban outskirts of the county. Now that everybody th uses roads. Right, that's yeah. true. And so <laughs> what mm -hmm. they're hoping to do here is make a pitch that, you know, people who drive cars mm -hmm. use the roads just the way that people who use buses use the roads and why not lump them together in order to try to appeal to a wider base and get a get a better turnout for the vote for this issue. Understood. Okay, so what's the timeline? Right, so uh, the timeline for this uh, increase in the sales tax would likely come in the fall of 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, this coming fall, though, we might see a ballot initiative that would repeal that earnings tax at the city level in anticipation of a possible sales tax coming the next year. So uh, City Councilman P.G. Sittenfeld is putting together legislation that would create a ballot measure to repeal that earnings tax mm -hmm. conditionally upon the later sales tax being approved a year later by Hamilton County voters. So there are a lot of moving parts here, but mm -hmm. it'll all come within the next 18 months or so. All right, so another story to follow. Thank you Absolutely. for being here. Thank really you, really appreciate it. And you can read more by checking out Pat's article right now on WCPO.com. It's part of our continuing coverage of growth in transportation in the tri-state called Move Up Cincinnati.